We're now about a month into the release of Season 7, and so that means, as with any season, we have the new Emissary Awards, this time of course being the Drum and Concertina. So today we're going to be taking a look at them as they literally dropped last night as of recording this video, so let's just get straight into it. If you do go on to enjoy this video, then please do consider leaving a like, it really helps out the channel an absolute ton, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. We're reaching 10,000 subscribers now, we're very close, we've got some really awesome things planned when we do. While you're at it, why not hit the bell, as well as you never miss a single upload. Kicking things off with the Athena Emissary Awards then, obviously throughout the companies we have the Drum and Concertina as mentioned. The Athena ones are very clean indeed. Keeping in line with its white and gold theming, I really like this one. Obviously, it is a direct reskin of the ghost stuff, so it's quite nice that they're contrasting colours from sort of black and green to white and gold. In terms of design, it is pretty bland. It would have been nice to see maybe a logo on the top of the drum, but there's nothing we can really do about that. Overall, it's a good emissary award. Moving on to the concertina, however, this one, again, I do really like. Similar to the drum, it's a little bit lacking in design, but I do like that it almost looks a bit more silvery compared to its white and gold counterparts. It makes overall for a very nice concertina. As mentioned, it is a direct reskin of the ghost stuff, so it's always going to look nice. The model on it is a very good model. Overall, these emissary awards definitely worth picking up if you haven't done it already. The Tribute Peak stuff, or oh, where to begin? I mean, this stuff is probably the best out of all the Emissary Ledger Awards. It's obviously keeping in line with its colour scheme of gold and green, with the Tribute Peak Gold Hoarder theme. Unlike the Athena ones, it has the Gold Hoarder symbol on the top. It, it's not like THE Gold Hoarder symbol, but it's one of them, that little triangle it's always used. It could just be a shape, but it, it's nice the little extra detail they put in. The model also includes the classic gold coins that we see on the rest of the Emissary Awards. Again, I just really like this drum overall, but then the concertina is where it's at. I mean, this concertina. The skulls on the edges, that is similar to obviously all of the other parts of the set, but I have no words. This concertina, the green and gold, it just works so well. The skulls on either end with obviously what you're playing. I don't know, there's something about this concertina which I absolutely love. I didn't actually manage to pick this one up, so I've definitely got to go get that because Oh, it's so clean, it's concise, it might even be the best- is it too much to say the best Demisera Ledger reward? We'll have to see at the end of the video. Now then, the masked renegade stuff. This stuff, as always, is very flashy and glowy. It's keeping in line with its special effects, definitely. It's got the Reaper symbol on the top, which glows with the grass of the drum. Again, I wish just the Athena had something on the top, but anyway, we've moved past that. It has the runes on it, like previous designs, and also the place you hold it, sort of the handle, is the hourglass, which we see on, well, every part of it. But not just, like, the design, we have the 3D element of the hourglass that you can see there. It glows bright red. The brown on it is something I've never really been a fan of, but I guess it kinda works. I mean, the brown the ship set definitely doesn't really work, could be done with replacing. The concertina, again, has the hourglasses either side of the 3D model. This really adds some depth to the design. And overall, I mean, I do like the detail on the actual, like, concertina bit that you pushed in, <laughs> in and out. It, it, it has the runes, it has the glow, it's a bit more detailed than the other concertinas, which is something I definitely really, really like out of it. The places that you hold are also pretty cool, like where you put your fingers, they're like little red glowy bits. In terms of night, this does glow obviously, so overall if you want another fleshy cosmetic, then this is one for you. The Merchant Ambassador set is one that I have always been a fan of. Especially the Cannon's Caps and the Helm on deck, they're so beautiful, and that royal theme continues in the instruments. The drum is clean and doesn't have a design on it, similar to the Athena one, but it makes up for it because it doesn't need it. The Athena one seemed a bit more bulky, but this one, because it's so clean, it sort of would ruin it if you add too much to it. It's got a nice eagle facing you. But obviously it's the blue and gold and white, it's just overall such a phenomenal instrument. If you want something a bit more simple, if you're not someone that likes very flashy cosmetics in general, then definitely one for you. Then the concertina, oh it looks just as good as the cannons. I mean, I, I have no words, it's white, gold and blue. It is literally 
the HMS Endeavour set from Pirates of the Caribbean. That's how I always describe it. That's literally what it is. Same colour scheme, same everything. It looks the same. So, you know, another Pirates of the Caribbean set, just indirectly. On the sides where you put your little hands to actually play the thing, it's got silver, which is something we haven't seen before, so quite nice there. Overall, absolutely brilliant instrument. Definitely worth picking up if you haven't already. The Relic of Darkness set is one that I've always been a bit confused about. Personally, I've never really been a fan. The colours are good and the glow is good on them, but I'm really not a fan of the whole ragdoll thing. With the drum, however, it brings across the Order of Souls logo on the top because it needs it because the theming is messy. That's the design that we're going for here. It also brings across some of its dark relic theming as you would expect because it is called the Relic of Darkness drum. But obviously, you have the little gold dangly bits, the red bands going around, and also some green encrusted gems. I am glad they didn't make this too messy because I feel they could have done a lot more with it in, in a negative way, definitely. So it's very nice that they kept it as it is. In terms of the concertina, this one feels a tad plain. It does feel a, a, a little bit plain. I don't know. There's something about it. It has the feathers from darkness, and it also has, obviously, the gold coins again. And where you put your fingers, there are green encrusted gems. So, it is keeping in line with the theming, but the actual concertina bit that you push in and out, I don't know. I feel they could have done something with that. It almost feels, it feels less clean and more because it's meant to be a messy set. It feels a bit more like it's underwhelming because you're expecting something more as opposed to what you actually get. Cause, I mean, the rest of the ship set, I mean, it's got dangly bits everywhere. I mean, it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. Anyway, it's overall an alright set. So if you're into Order of Souls, definitely one to pick up. Once again, I want to give an absolutely massive thank you to Blackshirt500 for helping me out with this. It would not be possible. These Emissary Legacy Awards, he always helps me every time. Really nice guy, and they would not be possible without him. So, absolutely huge thank you to him, because without him, I mean, I, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't always get the Emissary Legacy Awards. That's just something I, I don't do, because I don't want to grind merch in every month. Anyway, it's amazing that he does that, so thank you so much to him again. And yeah, amazing guy. Amazing guy. Anyways, that is all of the MSA Ledger Awards. So let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. Which is your favourite MSA set? Personally, I'd have to go with the Tribute Peak stuff. I would go with the Magpie's Glory set, but it's just a reskin of the Ghost stuff, whereas the Tribute Peak is new models. And do you think some of my criticism is fair? And especially the Relic of Darkness set. I want to know what you guys think of that, because that one's definitely a hot take. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.